close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created a dramatic Valentine's Day look for those who want to be very dramatic for Valentine's Day. If you guys are wondering, my choker is from Agassi, and yes, I got it right. I pronounced it right before. I uh, pronounced it wrong and that was my mistake. This choker also came with these little gold earrings which I think is perfect since the choker is you know a huge statement. The shirt I got from Forever 21. It's actually not a shirt, it's a dress. For my bracelet I'm wearing a glittery rose gold bracelet. I got this actually on sale at New York & Company. I don't know if you guys know that store. But I'm pretty sure I got this for like five bucks. It was on sale. I don't know if they still have it. So yeah, if you guys are wondering on how I accomplished this dramatic Valentine's Day look, then keep on watching. So I went ahead and applied my foundation and I also did my eyebrows off camera. Because I feel like you guys watch me do that step plenty of times. So I'm just going to go straight into priming my eyelids. And of course, I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base which is like my favorite primer for my eyeshadows. Alright, I'm just using a um, Royal and Lanical Angled Eyeshadow Brush, which looks like this. So I forgot to apply my concealer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm For the first time, I'm using the Tarte Shape and Tape Concealer in Light Medium. So hopefully this is not too, too light because Usually I would get medium, but the medium looked a little bit darker than this one, so we'll see. And I'm obsessed with the uh, applicator. Okay, so I really love how lightweight it feels on my skin and also the way it blends it out so nicely. Um, I got the shade light medium. I don't know if it's way too light for me, but I mean I do like a highlighted look under my eyes So I'm not really complaining about uh, this shade so much. I'm going to set the entire eyelid using my um, RCMA no color powder. I'm going to be using any clean blending brush just so we can set the um, Eyeshadow base and then I'm also going to go ahead and apply some RCMA No Color Powder on the areas where I concealed. I'm just going to bake under my eyes, not so much around the face. So I'm just going to let this sit for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to dust this off and then also my nose and my forehead. To start off this look, I'm going to be using the shade Tuscan Sun by Makeup Geek. So I'm putting this on my crease and then I'm also like winging it out a little bit because I kind of want to do like a cut crease. I'm actually going to go in with this shade right here. It's not even a shade, it's a blush from the Tarte Color Wheel. And it's called Montage and I'm actually going to put that in my crease as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the color Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance Palette and also apply this in the crease. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in sand. I'm just going to use any angled brush that I have just to um, blend out this concealer and also so I can create the cut crease shape. To set the concealer, I'm going to go in with the Violet Voss palette 
This is the Holy Grail palette, and I'm actually going to go with the shade Thanks a Latte. Okay, so now this is the part where I usually like go back in with the eyeshadow and blend out the eyeshadows more and then make the cut crease more defined. So the brush that I really recommend if you are going to be creating cut creases on yourself, I really love this mini blending brush by Sigma. This is the Sigma E36 blending brush. I feel like it's so thin and very tiny and it gets into the crease very easily and it blends out the shadows like really well. So the shadow I'm going to be using is Wine and Dine which is in the Violet Voss palette. I'm just going to start blending that eyeshadow so it doesn't look so harsh. Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use that same mini blending brush. I'm going to be using the shade Venetian Red. So now I'm going to be applying Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be applying this on my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to be applying some glitter and for glitter today I'm using the Bulks Glitters in Luscious Pink. So I'm just going to apply the glitter glue on my concealer. For liquid liner today, I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in Black. Alright, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Sun Beige. And then I'm also going to be using the Morphe E3 brush. Contour today, I'm using the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. And I'm going to be applying this shade right here, which is called Sculpt. To bronze up my face, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. blush today I'm gonna be using that same shade that we use on our lids which is called montage I'm going to take the shade Tuscan Sun and apply this on my bottom lash line I'm going to apply the shade wine and dine For mascara, I'm going to go back in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm just going to be setting my entire face using the Urban Decay Setting Spray. From the Tardis Pro Glow Palette, I'm going to be using the shade Stunner. I'm going to be applying Coco Bling by Artist Couture. These are their diamond glow powders. I'm going to be using the lip liner in Natural by NYX Cosmetics. And then for liquid lipstick, I'm using the shade 50-50 by Lip Land.
All right, so I kind of want the lipstick to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to use the shade Stone by Dose of Colors. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely. 